All right, YouTube. Hey, what's up? My name is Toby. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about this Tannis Armor insert and why you should or shouldn't get it. For those of you who have ADD and can't wait for the rest of the details, here is my synopsis. This thing is well worth the investment if you don't mind a little bit of a challenging installation. I would recommend this over Kush Core for some reasons I'll get into later, but you'll have to stick around for that one. So without further ado, let's give the people what they want. Let's get into a little bit more details on this thing. I'm out of breath. Let's talk about that Tannis armor. It is lighter. I do think that helps. I do think it makes climbing just a touch easier. Now, the dampening, I think it does work. It does feel like it takes a little bit more of that chatter, the small, tiny bumps, the vibrations. I do think it does take some of that out. So, ride impressions are way better than the installation impressions. That's for damn sure. But, so far, I haven't had any problems with it. Feels good underneath you. And I do like you can use standard valves and that air pressure settles right away so anyway I'm gonna keep riding it okay. I mean my overall ratings the installation definitely a one out of five terrible rating because they lied to you saying it's easy ride impressions I'd say four four to five I think it does a good job of rim protection. I think it does a good job of dampening. And it's lighter than Kush Core, so I think it's good. All right, let's get back and do one more sketchy section before it gets too warm. Okay, so. I'm running, so I'm running a 27.5 by 2.3 on the back of my sort of big hidden enduro machine. And uh, I've been running Kushcore for the last year. And if you look closely here, you can see a lot of my uh, poor line choices. I think that's what I'm gonna call this. So um, having a tire inserts there in there has been really important for me considering the amount of poor line choices I apparently take when I look at this thing. The main reason that I put a tire insert on is honestly rim protection. There's a lot of claimed benefits of Kushcore that uh, I'll let other people explain, but my main reason is actually just the, is the rim protection and slightly lower tire pressure so that you can get a little bit more grip. So you might think to yourself, you know, like if I was running Kushcore, if it was doing its job, if this wheel is still in good condition, why in the world would I switch tire inserts? And honestly, the reason is, is I hit a line somewhere, somehow, and I got a big slash right on top of the last tire that I had. That was something that Kushcore could not have prevented, but it did give me a gnarly flat. Now, I'm up there in the sticks with a flat tire trying to change it, and getting that tire off was really challenging. The real rub for me came from because I was trying so hard and I couldn't just pop that bead and then work around it and put a tube in there, but I was instead, you know, grunting and twisting and, and really trying hard. There was a lot of opportunity for dirt and sticks and everything else to get in there. And that really gave me concern in the event that if I wasn't close to a road or something like that and my tube ended up getting a flat inside the tire, that really caused me concern. And so that's where Tannis came in. Tannis is supposedly a very easy insert to install and replace in the event you do get a flat. So on top of that, the other big benefit is that this thing is over a hundred grams lighter in the worst place to possibly have grams. And some people say, oh, they don't care about the weight, the, per the performance outweighs it. Well, I guess I'm not in that camp and I'm looking to shape grams wherever I can, especially um, on this, this rear wheel in the worst place to have it. You know, I actually did go ahead and weigh these things and they do hit their claimed weights, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Tannis clocked in at 153 grams and the Kushcore clocked in at 267. 
So the next thing I want to talk about is actually installation. That's everybody's big concern with Kushcore is how hard it is to install. And there's a lot of videos online about how to install it and things like that. And I've found Kushcore to be challenging to install, but not impossible. It does take a little bit longer, but um, it works out. Now, here is the biggest downside of this thing. This thing was absolutely impossible to install. Uh, no joke, it says on the go installation, and this thing was exponentially harder than Kushcore. Now, I w it was cold when I was installing it. However, I, I w it took me probably 30 minutes. I had to go back and check that I had the right size. This thing is just, it's not stretching and getting it over over that last little bit of rim. So what I ended up doing is I pulled it off to see if it was still the correct size. And sure enough, I mean, somewhere on here, yeah, 27.5. But uh, yeah, so what I'm having to do is like reach back and actually fold this back into it. But that just doesn't seem right. Like this just doesn't seem like there's enough. You know, I mean, like look at that. The cush core is tight, but it's not quite like that. <laughs> and for these guys to claim it's like a five minute install time, I'm just not buying it. So I'm gonna try a little harder, see if we can get it on there. But um, I don't buy their five minute install time. So lesson learned. My hands were sore for the next like two days because I was grunting and trying so hard to push this thing, push, put this thing in here. So if you can set aside some time and do it, just know my experience was this thing was really, really hard to install. Okay, how does it stack up though against the Kush Core? So once again, it's installed. I tried making this video a little while ago, but it didn't turn out so good. So I'm trying again. So how does this thing perform against Kush Core? Um, in the back, I'm running 23 PSI and I ran 23 PSI before and I'm running 23 PSI now. And I will absolutely say that without a doubt, the lighter weight is for sure noticeable and the, um, the rim protection, I mean, when you take a cross section, this thing does fit just like, just like the picture says it does. So the rim protection's there, the lighter weight is there and I really, really appreciate those two things. And then when it comes to the actual performance of it, quite frankly, I think it feels much better than Kush Core. I, I, I got the sense that it actually dampens that, like the trail a little bit more, like that foam just sort of acts, um, it sort of acts as a little bit more of a spring, like a, like a little bit more of a really damp spring. So you, it just eat, ate up a lot of that chunk on the trail. And when I went out for my first test ride, I mean, I did hit, some high speed chatter, I hit some big drops, I hit some sharp rock, I hit it, I tried to hit it all just to really see how it felt. Quite frankly, if you can put up with the installation, this thing works pretty dang good. It's honestly pretty irritating that it says it's really easy to install and it wasn't. Now, if you were to get a flat, I don't think breaking the bead open on this is going to be a challenge. I don't think that once you break the bead open, pulling it out is going to be a challenge. It's just going to be that initial installation. Uh, the reason being is that it's just it's just tight it fits around it fits tight to the inside of your your beads so like the the diameter the inner diameter of those little wings is is pretty tight and it fits really snug into your rim the other cool thing is that with kush core that valve sits right up against this and so if you've ever installed kush core on a non kush core valve you'll be like why in the hell is this thing not pumping up right well it's because this foam is sitting right on your valve head and that's why the Kush core valves had those little ports on the side of it. Now is what I really did like about this is because of that kind of winged feature, you can still run, I can fit my bougie blue valves. I don't have to run Kush core valves. And, uh, and on top of that, the, the tire pressure reading is instant. It doesn't have to settle um, like I found Kush core to do. Um, I, with Kush core, it seems like I got sealant sort of gumming up in the valve itself. Uh, not the case with this uh, standard valves straight through not a problem yeah so Tannis is about 30 bucks cheaper 
and that's kick ass. I mean, mountain biking is expensive, and if you can save money wherever you saving money wherever you can is like super important to me. So I do whatever I can to maybe save a buck or two to try and spend it where it really counts. And if you can get a good rim protection and a good insert for 30 bucks less, totally recommend it. Okay, so that's my review on the Tannis Armor Tubeless. I've been enjoying riding it. I've been enjoying that lighter weight. I've been enjoying knowing I got that good rim protection out back there, but it still burns me about that installation. But anyway, folks, hey, have a great day. I hope this was enlightening. I hope it was at least a little bit informative, and I hope to see you out there. Anyway, have a good one.